Hey what's up guys, Tyler here with Secure Team. Before we jump in, I want to show you guys an animated 3D rendering of that totally epic UFO sighting featured in my very last video of that shiny metallic object that nearly struck that private plane over Columbia. I took a still frame of it just where it's about to pass the plane and I created easily with some editing software I use along with some new AI or artificial intelligence based software that I'll be utilizing in future videos to enhance other footage and especially still photographs or images so that we will be able to have the ability to get you know semi realistic views of certain things in a three dimensional space and what you're seeing here is where I took a still frame or image as it's passing the plane and it's sort of this uh, side by side comparison shot and with the 3D animation added we go from this, you know, boring 2D look to now having a more 3D or depth filled version that I thought fun to make, but also something really cool for you guys uh, in that it provides us with a slightly cooler view and just overall better view and context of just what the heck this unknown object was and what it possibly may have looked like had we been there and had the ability to freeze frame the UFO in time but in a 3D space where we could see it sort of tilting back and forth, you know, more so than we got in the actual video. So it's a really cool feature and especially when it comes to images and photos or satellite imagery of the moon or single still frames from a video that I can put into a 3D space and animate like you're seeing here. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and check that out. Be sure to follow me and uh, click that bell. So wanted to show you this and I have some more stuff to feature using this technique. So now let's get to our first mystery clip, which I had never seen before, but I, I thought there was something uh, <laughs> definitely ominous about it, I guess. Maybe that's the wrong word, but it's of a, a ring or a nest doorbell camera or security camera uh, and it's you know typical nighttime black and white shot where out of nowhere as you guys are seeing what at first looks like you know it could be a cloud or something like that we see this giant winged thing is the only way I can describe it suddenly enter the frame and pass beyond the tree line and so as I let this short clip just loop over here and uh, we'll zoom in and, and stuff like that but this uh, I had never seen this and as I show you these close-ups this is just you know at first I was like there's no way it's just a strange cloud formation and it very well may be but as you guys are reviewing this with me this thing looks pretty sharp uh, to be a cloud yeah, you know what I mean? It, it, it looks and, and is similar to a cloud, but whatever it is, it's massive. I don't have a lot of information on the footage, you know, like a lot of UFO footage sent in to me personally or that's posted to the web. A lot of people don't like to give a lot of detail. Even in today's world where the subject is much more in the mainstream, tell me what you guys think of this. It's no surprise to me that there are very mysterious and just totally unknown things lurking in our skies. So was this one of them captured on this Nest uh, doorbell camera? Put your comments down below. Now, next, uh, just to wet your palette here, we have a, a new clip. Recently, it just popped up on my Twitter feed and it, it didn't have really any views at all. And I, you know, I thought this seems interesting. And it was posted by user account Cindy McKee with the description, quote, wow, mysterious sighting over Tacoma. And I'm guessing that's Washington raises questions and makes us wonder about the existence of UFOs. Now, because of the tweet, I'm not sure if this is the originator of the footage, but we will go ahead and take a look at it nonetheless. Look at my sky, you guys. It's literally 9.30 at night, and look at this. Okay, so this was strange to me. You know, when I first saw it, it had just 
popped up on my feed and I've had similar pieces of UFO footage like this in the past of these glowing orbs moving in the sky. Now some can be in different shapes like triangles or, or things like that. Others similar to this will move around and more often than not will usually be decided or it will be my opinion that they're likely, you know, spotlights or something like that shining up at the sky. But typically when I see footage like that, the lights that are being projected are moving, you know, typically. They're moving in a preset pattern in circles or a pattern with one another, not just sitting still in a semi-straight line like we're seeing here. So the fact that whatever these glowing sources of light are, they don't seem to be moving. You know, typically they're, they're moving. So the person that recorded this seems to be pretty astounded by it, you know, almost like, hey, they're local, but they've never seen something like this before. So anyone over Tacoma... Uh, see something like this or can provide us with any more info, put it down in the comments. Now next, uh, we have uh, another possible bombshell piece of footage that was recently, I believe, posted to Reddit. It's a nighttime shot, shot with a, a night vision camera or scope. And the basic scoop of what occurred here is that a stargazer in Spain captured this intriguing piece of night vision footage that has sent shockwaves throughout the UFO research community lately and was uploaded to YouTube by a channel called Stars and Night Vision with the title Triangular Craft Captured. The jaw-dropping scene unfolded over Mount Pug Campana near the town of the Alphas del Pai. During the sighting, the witness had a hunch that this area in Spain was a hot spot for UFO activity. So armed with their night vision camera, they decided to put their suspicions to the test and they were in for a major surprise. In the footage, the serene night sky uh, suddenly is invaded, uh, you could say, by the appearance of three distinct lights forming a perfect triangle, making its way through the skies. The mysterious craft can be seen gliding silently overhead, leaving the witness completely astonished because this thing, whatever it was, was moving at an insane rate of speed. The witness could barely keep up, struggling to adjust their tripod just to keep track of the object. And I can only imagine the adrenaline rush of capturing something like this. I have a night vision camera as well. The thing was moving at an insane speed speed above Spain and eventually the videographer lost sight of the triangular anomaly due to its incredible velocity and their disorientation on the ground. Uh, but hey, despite the chaos, they managed to capture this awesome and totally peculiar object. And uh, there's a lot of theories buzzing around as to what this could be. Some observers are speculating that this could be the infamous TR-3B, which if you don't remember is the highly secretive aircraft often associated with those notorious black triangle sightings said to be back engineered and built by the US government from alien technology. So it could be that. I don't see any really other flashing lights like FAA lights that would indicate that it's a, a plane or an, an aircraft of commercial or private status or at least one that would obey the FAA laws. Uh, it looks just like three objects and I'm showing you some enhanced footage here. I've ran the footage through my AI software just to sharpen it up further. So yeah, strange things over Spain, not always just happening here in the US. This is a global phenomenon. This is an off-world, off-planet phenomenon. Could this be extraterrestrial activity or some classified black project type technology involved? Share your theories down in the comments below. So next here, I, I wanna show you guys just a still frame. Okay, well, it's a still a photograph, but nonetheless, it was sent to me and as you will quickly see, there's a reason why it stood out to me. And so we see this nighttime shot of a female standing there posing for a nice picture with the stars behind them. When it was noticed quickly after being posted online, something strange was moving in the distance or hovering in the distance of the photo unbeknownst to the girl. And we'll go ahead and zoom in here. And as we zoom in, to the, the circle that was already put in place around the UFO when it was sent to me, we see a what appears at first glance to be a string of lights with a, another larger light directly uh, underneath it. This image was uploaded around 2019 to 2020, and I haven't confirmed that. I've done some reverse image searches on this, but 
the general consensus seems to be around 2019 or so and some of you may be thinking immediately hey this could be starlink satellites you know we have a bunch of little white dots all in a row it's it's easy to spot but starlink back in 2019 really wasn't a thing at all you know they had just begun in around 2020 launching starlink satellites however they weren't up there to the point where you could see them every night you know and, and you really only see them when there's a launch of them and just like i showed you earlier i put this into my enhancement software uh, was able to generate a moving three-dimensional animation as if you were there in three-dimensional space with the camera uh, just to give you again a better view of the ufo had you actually been there and could pause time and uh, i really love being able to utilize this technique which is something you know really a lot of people can do it's not that hard but this from what i can see was posted on facebook back in 2019 and 2020 in or around belize uh, which is in the northeast coast of central america and the original post that i could find which you're seeing here describes the sighting by stating quote tonight a young photography enthusiast accomplished what many professionals with years of experience have not yara romero while capturing images with her camera observed what apparently is a ufo in the sky which was camo Camouflaged among the stars and as you're seeing in this 3d animation of this still photo along with some simple contrast enhancements it almost appears as if we are possibly looking at another triangular object or at least an object of some kind that we are seeing from a side view like a lot of the saucer ufo sightings we see or black triangles or what have you some of these structures or craft will be very thin and we will only get these side views of them as they pass by which will make them look more cylindrical but then some of them are at an angle and you can see that there's more of a structure to these things you know they are much wider but are very thin looking from the side view so i'm just letting this loop over here and um you guys can give me your final thoughts And lastly today, before I jump off here, if you didn't see this news, NASA, aka Never a Straight Answer, aka Never Admitting Space Anomalies, is apparently going to be holding a UFO slash UAP meeting at the end of May. And it's posted directly to their official, you know, NASA.gov website. Uh, I posted a tweet when this first hit the web because I do not trust NASA whatsoever. But I said in my social media post that in a nutshell, none of you guys should get your hopes up. You know, I've seen these meetings now, and so have many of you, over and over. How many times do we hear of new UAP reports coming from the Pentagon, or new meetings with congressmen, and this and that, and I report on each one, and typically I will predict beforehand the outcome of each such release, or meeting, or report, and how they always turn out to be nothing burgers, and they always are, and they have been. And so now we have NASA telling us it's going to be holding a public meeting at 10.30 a.m. Wednesday, May 31st of its independent study team on categorizing and evaluating data of UFOs or UAPs as they call them. Uh, the agency will also host a media teleconference at the conclusion of the meeting, uh, which will air on NASA television, the NASA app, and the agency's website at 2.30 p.m. So yeah, May 31st, never a straight answer, will be holding a meeting. I'm not getting my hopes up, but I could be the one for once to eat crow. I don't think I will, but if I do, I will gladly eat that crow. Uh, but I don't have uh, really high hopes, so I guess we will see. And with that, guys, I want to thank you all for stopping by today. I appreciate all of the love and support from all of you, from my supporters on Patreon and fellow YouTube members. And I want to say thank you to the people who in my last couple of videos posted some super thanks comments down in the comments. If you don't know, super thanks comments are highlighted colorful comments that you can do a one-time purchase of by tapping the little heart-shaped icon under this video. Much like a live stream super chat, you can choose the amount and your comment will be not only highlighted so as to be seen, but it will be pushed more to the top of the comments. And it's another small way to say, hey, I liked this particular video. So thank you to the people who left the super thanks comments on my last couple of videos means a lot. Follow me on social media so that you'll have instant updates to new videos I post and other news, and I will see all of you
guys on the next one. Stay safe. <laughs>